hello guys welcome today i want to show you how you can solve the hackalank sock mechant challenge this is one uh, among the first challenge that you face when you start practicing in hackalank so the question says so there is a large pile of socks that must be paired by color given any array of integer representing the color of each sock determine uh, determine how many pairs of socks with matching colors there are so uh, if you go below there is a full explanation by diagram you can see so you can just determine the pair of socks by comparing this element in an array so you can see from this example element this uh, array which is element like 10 20 20 10 10 30 50 10 20 explanation is here by taking 10 and 10 you get one pair another 10 with 10 you get second pair then you go with 20 by 20 then you get one pair and these 50 and 30 and another 20 remain so there are only three pairs so you can solve this simply by using for loop and if statement so you can just make for loop within for loop then apply if statement you can solve the question by looking at the qu constraint it says and this element there will be no number which is greater than 100 so when you, you come to my solution here it's very simple and this is how I did I just because the parameter here was into correction like you can see list int array so I just converted this list int array r into array by using two array method so I just changed it into array so that I can use these four loops because I'm not good with collection so I just find a way to change it into array so that I can the uh, array is, uh, it's more I'm familiar with so I can manipulate as follow so you can see I just initiate I that I'm gonna use into my for loop so if you look into the codes this is simply as you can see I just initiate the array I, I converted the list into array then I initiated uh, I define the i and np np is a number of pairs so this is gonna be the sum of number of pairs initiated with zero then I, uh, I put for loop within for loop so the first for loop will be like this it will start from zero up to less than the given number then the second one will start from from where the first one start plus one so it means when comparing this in the array it won't start from here it will compare this one and the second one element in the array because this one is the same as this one so this is simply the code guys I just used for loop within for loop then if statement and as you can see I just assigned one zero one in order to avoid the repetition so if 10 Is the same as 10 year so what it will do it will just change this 
pair into 1, 0, 1. We can say J, I just change the pair into sign after that, it counted. So if uh, I run the code, I'm still getting the same question. And uh, even this one, So let me return to what the hell? Congratulations. So it's simple like that. So this is how you can, I just pasted these codes into the description on my video. So guys, thank you. Let me submit this in front of you. You can see it's testing all the test case. Congratulations, you solved this challenge. Would you like to challenge your friends? Yeah, I'd love to. I've earned 10 points, guys. So, and this is the first challenge that I have done in my hacker, my hacker rank. Hacker rank is very amazing. Okay, guys, thank you. I'll be posting more questions, more challenges from hacker rank. So, guys. Be with me, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and thank you.